Hi guys, thanks for joining this next random nerdiness journey with me. Today we're going to actually cover a little blackjack game that I've created from my previous simulator logic. I figured since I have most of the pieces, why not go ahead and write the game? Now the purpose of this game is to help teach players learn how to actually do the high-low counting system, the blackjack basic strategy, as well as the illustrious 18 variants. So let me go ahead and demo how some of this will work to teach you guys how to beat the house. So when we don't know what the true count is, we're always gonna to wanna to bet what is the minimum possible. And then otherwise, when we know that the true count has an advantage, that's when we wanna start betting bigger. So with the situation, we always have to do a fine balance with the bankroll. And our previous video kind of had a few demonstrations based upon how much of a bankroll you would go based upon how big you bet. So here we're gonna still try to be a little bit conservative. We're gonna do minimum bets of five. And when we know we're at a true count advantage, we're just gonna bet 100 and see how that goes. So now let's just go ahead and play a few rounds. I'll start with my minimum bet of five, I'll click start, boom. I see that I have a 11 to a three and basic blackjack strategy would tell me that I'm going to double down here. Now, one of the things I did was make sure that I added this fancy little yellow diamond here that tells you that this is what basic blackjack strategy would recommend you do. And one of the features I'm probably gonna have is something that won't show it there all the time. It will just show it to you after the hand is played so that you know whether it's played correctly and it'll give you statistics on how well you've been doing it. But as we start for beginners, I think it'll be helpful to see it there to kind of guide you along just so that you understand how the cards are playing out and like what is what are your actual goals here. So we're gonna double down. We see that we got an ace of 12, not really great, but we also see that our running count and true counts were computed as the cards started um, coming out. So we see that our five and our six would have been two for our running count. And then with the ace, it would have been back to one. And then two for the three, a little bit confusing. And then it's a three, four, back to three, four, five. So running count of five, that'd be great. And in most situations, you might be a little excited, but again, we divide the running count by the number of decks that we have left. So we see that our true count is still technically about zero. So we're still not gonna wanna bet aggressively yet. We lost this hand, we doubled down, still the recommended play by black, basic blackjack strategy. So with that, we'll go ahead and play the next hand, $5 minimum bet again. And here I'm gonna go, we have a nine and, we've, and a jack. And so we're going to hit, I believe the previous running count was a five. So then it would be a six, seven with the jack putting it back to a six and we'll go ahead and hit. That's nine, so it doesn't change the running count. Basic blackjack strategy on 18 to a jack says stand. We're gonna stand. And all right, so our, our true count is now one and our running count was six. So. With this, the simulator would have bet slightly more. So let's go ahead and bet a little bit more. Here, I'm gonna, let's bet the 100 that I said I was gonna bet. I mean, if the true count is ever greater than one, let's just go ahead and do it. All right, so we are betting 100. We have a 12, that's awful. So it's zero, it's still running count is six, I believe. With the other six on the dealer hand, running count is seven. Basic blackjack strategy says when the dealer hand is six to the 12 that we have, we're gonna stand. One thing I just noticed, maybe it's gonna be more helpful if I have the dealer's face up card actually up in front of the card that's face down. That will be a feature that I'll update later or a bug that I'll fix later. Stand. All right, so they have a 16, dealer busted, running count is five. True count went back to zero. We're gonna go back to zero, neutral. We're up 90 bucks, solid. I would be really happy at a casino already at this point. We'll bet our minimum five. We've got 12 to the dealer nine. I kind of forgot what the running count is. Again, I'm, I'm terrible at it, but fortunately we'll be able to see the stat after this. And one of the other things that I might be able to do is uh, offer the player an opportunity to confirm what the running count is and the true count. And then, I don't know, maybe side bonus points or achievement points or something like that, but something to help motivate the player, build those right habits so that you can count cards correctly in your head for the actual casino day. All right, so basic strategy says I have a 12 to a nine. I'm gonna hit, I busted, running count is five. Okay, 
Cards remaining is 288. Still have lots of cards in the deck. I will bet my minimum five. We've got an 11, two, and nine. Recommendations to double. Let's go ahead and double. Okay, so then our true count, our running count was five. So now we're at six. No face up cards and aces. So we're still there. Double. Oh, hey. So now our running count is four, but we won the hand, which is great. Still, true count was zero because of the number of cards, so we're still gonna bet our minimum. We have a A7 to a five, and it says to double. Now, I was not aware of this. I would not be good at basic blackjack strategy because I would have to look up a thing that would tell me to double on this. But let's go ahead and double on it because it recommends it. We've got an 18, and we won. I mean, I wouldn't have thought to win. That way, I would have hit and won, I guess. Would I have hit? I think I would have. I can't remember what the previous card was already. All right, so bet five. All right, eight to seven. Oh my God, I forgot the running count again. I'm gonna definitely need some work to get better at this. That was actually the intent of building this app. Like I, I actually wanted to be able to play this while I was in between things and just wanting to get a little bit of practice on it. So here we go. So we've got an eight to a seven. Basic blackjack strategy would say hit, I'm a hit. Got an 18, stand on the dealer face up a seven. All right, running count is four. Remember that, three, oh sorry, three. Running count is three. <laughs> All right, and, and I can't remember, did I win or lose that? All right, so let's go. Five dollar bet. And technically I was pausing the frame when it was showing the stitch stats previously because when you're at a casino, the dealers aren't gonna like, Hang on a second, guys. Go ahead and take your time to count all the cards that you need to. And they'll just go ahead and swipe them up. Now, I realize uh, maybe that's gonna be another feature that's gonna be pretty important here. Maybe at beginner levels, increasing that delay so that you have more time to count the cards and make sure that you understand what's going on. Uh, part of my intent for, for that, the, the timer that was there was basically what I assumed would be the amount of time it would take for a dealer to swipe away. And I forgot the running count again. So we're just gonna go ahead and play the next hand. All right, we're gonna do a $5 bet. I don't think I saw the tree. Oh, I bet 10 already saw, okay, so. We have 17 to the five. Basic blackjack strategy says stand. I'm standing, running count is three, four. All right, so it's four. We lost, we're still not gonna bet any bigger. And uh, also UX that I'm gonna fix, like to, to undo a bet, you click this little black line underneath it and then it slightly gets a little bit more gray. I realize that that is not very helpful, but I will make it something more clear and obvious to undo your bet. But anyways, in the meantime, making your bet. Oh God, what was the running count again? Oh, I'm awful at this. Okay, so I, I think the running count was like four. I've got two face or two 10 cards. So it's two plus the four, so it's three. Uh, basic backtrack strategy says stand. I'm gonna stand, so now we're at two. Oh, bu 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 two. Okay, that sounds good. I was at two. I think I'm also gonna make it when the cards are drawn, there's a little bit more of a delay because that's that might have been a little bit faster than cards are actually drawn. I don't know, maybe, who knows. Uh, there are, maybe there'll be like toggles on how fast we can actually swap those things out. Regardless, I believe the true count was still zero. I think the running count was two, so let's let's go with that. All right, running count of four, no change there. I have a nine to the dealer showing a nine. I'm gonna hit. Now it's running count of five. I think at this point our true count might be getting close to a one because the number of decks are starting to come down. But we'll we'll find that in a second. And this is part of the things that you should be able to just you should be able to process mentally with enough practice. So 15 still recommends hitting and hit. Oh, and I busted, but my running count was three because two face cards came out. So my five went to a three. I think I counted five correctly. So now I'm at the running count of three, betting five. I've got a ace two to a five and it says double. Again, I, I, I definitely need to make sure I understand my double strategy properly for basic blackjack strategy. So, um, but but my running count was two. This basically nets it to still two, and now it's a three. I double, so now it's a two, one, zero. Okay, so now our running count is zero. 
So I, I didn't even see if I won that hand, but I'm going to, my running count is zero and that's what's important. We need to make sure that we know how to play moving forward. And yeah, that's my excuse. So five betting five, running count is zero. Now it's two. I have a 10 to a three it says double. Okay, so running count is three. I realized while doing this, I still need a few more toggles so that I have the time to practice. It's clear that I'm actually terrible at counting the cards fast enough and even how to recognize whether or not I, I've even won or lost a hand. So I'm gonna bet five. Got a pair of threes. I'm gonna split. It seems like my running count went up, but I still don't think much because maybe two. All right, so back to, back to one because I've got a queen here. This basic strategy says to hit. Oh, I've got a king. So, and then another king. So I think I'm at a negative one. And I busted on that previous hand is asking me to hit again. All right, all right. Oh, but now I've got a three. So I think my running count is at zero. Hit again. Oh, I hate these 16 hits. I think I'm going to bust for sure. Oh, I got a four. So now I've got a running count of one to a seven. I'm going to stand. Whoa, my running count is four. I was super off on that. <laughs> All right, so running count of four, playing the game. Got a $5 bet. Got a 12. All right, so now it's still four. Now it's three. Gonna hit two. Okay, so running count of two. Card shuffling down. I'll bet my five. All right, so running count of uh, five. Five and uh, I've got 11, so I'm gonna double down onto the five. That one I knew at least. Okay, so running count seven, my true count is one. All right, I'm gonna start betting a little bigger. All right, now the dealer has an ace. Unless the true count is three or greater, I'm not gonna buy insurance. So here's the hoping. All right, so they didn't have it. Looks like I would double down, really? Okay, so I guess I'm gonna double down. And then I lost that hand, I lost double the money. <laughs> But the true count is a two, so I gotta, I gotta still do my big money. All right, so here we go. So the dealer has an eight to my 17. I'm gonna stand. Oh my God, and I'm still losing money, but I'm still going to bet bigger. And I lost another hand, and the true count is now down to a zero. Wow, all right. So I'm gonna bet the $5 again. Oh, I got a blackjack that time, yay. And then let me go ahead and bet another five. And actually the cards are moving so fast, I'm not even really counting and I'm just really looking at my stats screen now to tell me how things are going. I, I, the, I should definitely be practicing still a little bit more. So I have an 11 to a queen, I'm gonna double. Okay, my true count is still zero. I'm gonna still bet minimum because my true count is zero. This looks like my true running count would be two. I don't think that would still make the true count any higher. Yeah, three, three-ish, okay, so still running count is three. Okay, I'm gonna still bet five. And I'm going to double on this, and I think uh, my my running count might be about six now-ish. Seven, six, okay, six, one, true count is one. I'm gonna bet my $100 again. Uh, all right, so my running count is still about seven-ish. Um, gonna go ahead and stand here. True count is two, oh, I still lost. Now guys, it's still possible to lose even if your true count is greater. And the whole point is that it's like the law of large. So if you just play enough hands, you will eventually win. And as we saw from the simulator, over time, on average, you're going to win. So let's, I believe our true count was still greater. So we're gonna do our $100 bet here. We have a 12 to a nine. I think that made our running count a little bit higher again. Uh, yeah, okay, and I still busted. True count is two. We're still gonna bet our 100. We're just gonna be consistent. All right, so now uh, our true count is the same here. It goes down by one. Forgot the number was. I think it might've been like six. So I'm gonna hit. Uh, true running count went down again. I'm gonna hit again. Running count went up. I'm gonna stand. All right, we won that hand. Okay, we're, we're coming back. True count is still zero, so let's, let's just keep it going. It's at, um, Still that running count, I think it was like five. I'm gonna hit, and now the running count is like six. I'm gonna stand. Oh, running count was 11. Okay, now true count is three. Um, so now when the true count is three, the, the theory was we can start betting a little bit bigger. 
So I think I'm gonna do that. Is that gonna be smart? I don't know. Let's let's just try it. Let's uh, okay. Let's do 500. I've got a 20. I think it was a 11, so this to nine with a 10 from the six, so it went, the running counts back up to a 10. I'm going to stand with that 20 because that's pretty cool. Looks like I won. Okay, I'm back. This this definitely could have been luck, right? Like if if you stay consistent with the betting strategy, I haven't actually programmed in the recommendations of how much to bet. And it's gonna be similar to the little stars that you see on how to play the hands. It's gonna show you just, basically it'll stay over the chips to bet based upon what's the base value and what's your multiplier. But for now, um, really me coming back was luck because again, it's the, the betting of the $500. But otherwise again, consistency over time, you're, you're just mathematically going to be ahead at a slight advantage okay so i believe our true, true count was still above one uh but i can't remember how much it was i'm just gonna go back to 100 and this makes it the same this makes it a little bit higher some more advantage for us i'm gonna stand we have 19 22 bus okay our true count is three running count is 10 all right so now i'm starting to win a little bit more money um still not true count of greater than three so i'm gonna still stick with the hundred dollar bet Looks like it's same, running count's a little bit higher. I'm gonna go ahead and stand. Run true count is four now, uh, I lost that one. But true count is three, I'm gonna do that $500 bet again. Let's see what happens. This is the same, running count goes a little bit higher. I'm gonna stand. Oh, Lordy, oh no. Okay, true count is four. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do our $500 bet because our true count is there. And let's see, so about same, going running count goes a little bit higher. I'm gonna stand. Oh no, oh no. So we're losing some big money, but our true count is largely in our favor. So let's just, there we go, we got a blackjack. All right, all right, that sounds good. I, I didn't even see the true count, but I assume we're still at an advantage, even if we had those two high cards. Uh, I don't think it brought down the running count that much more. So let's do another, okay, so we got tens and another queen. Okay, so that's probably gonna really bring down the running count. But let's just see what we have. So now our true count is three. We're back in a net positive. All right, that's great. So we're still at three, so we're still gonna bet the 500. We've got 20 and six. Now our running count is slowly f falling down. Um, again, basic black strategy. strategy says stand, 14. Our true count is now back to two. We are up $922, uh, but since it's two, I'm gonna bet 100 instead of the 500. We've got a 12 to a dealer face up four. So we're going to stand. I totally forgot what the true count was. It's three. Okay, so I'm gonna bet a little bit. No, no, sorry, went back down to six with the queens. We won. So far, so good. We're gonna bet another hundred. And we have two tens. We should stand on this. Our running count went, I think it was eight, so not down to six. Click stand. Uh, running count down to three. Our true count is only up to one. Um, was I betting 100 at one? I can't remember, but let's let's just continue to bet 100 at one. Um, buy insurance. Our true count is not greater than three, so I'm gonna still decline this. All right, now um, uh, our running count is down one from whatever it was. I'm going to hit, no change, down another one. Okay, so now our true count is zero. We're gonna go back to betting five dollars. All right. Now our running count is even further. It's now, now it's into negative twos. So we definitely don't want to bet more here. Negative, what? Oh man, my, <laughs> maybe it was uh, one, I don't recall. All right, so, but again, we're at a negative. We don't want to bet anymore. We're gonna bet our $5. We have a 17 to the dealer up of two. We're going to, our running count is gonna be slightly higher. So I think it says zero now. And then we're gonna stand, yep, zero. One, zero, okay. We're at 95 cards remaining. I have it reshuffling at about 78, um, but soon this deck is about to expire. And then again, we as we rinse and repeat, we're gonna bet back to the $5 bet. So do five. All uh, right, looks like with the six, it's, uh, was, it, was it one or was it zero? I can't remember, maybe it was zero, but let's just stand. Oh, it was one. Oh no, sorry, it was. Okay, so we're at zero again still. All right. No advantage, we're gonna bet. So we have a 17 to a 10. Our running count is going down. We're less than an advantage. It's even further down now. 
stand even further down so negative three so we're definitely not gonna i mean for the and as as we only have 85 cards left in the deck we're probably not going to go ahead and bet anything bigger for us and some people might just say like at this point just wait for the table to reshuffle or go grab a drink or whatnot but we'll just play the rest of these hands out we see that we have a 20 to the two just practicing basic blackjack strategy we're going to stand all righty looks like we won all right and they're gonna we're gonna reshuffle after this hand we've got a 12 to a four we're gonna stand See six, three, reshuffling. All right, and that's basically a single round of it. With and with one deck, we were basically up a thousand dollars, ten percent. I I can't actually say that this was a consistent thing. I think the simulator will more reliably say how much it would be up based again about, about how much we're betting and what's the uh, what's the general thresholds that we'll see for like how much you'll win or lose. Um, it was a good lucky good lucky string, and again taking blackjack's card counting to our advantage, we won a thousand dollars. So that basically wraps up the video. Hopefully you really enjoyed what you saw. I'm also really looking forward to publishing this on the Google Play Store. I would love it if all of you could go download it and test it. Give me suggestions and feedback on how to make it better. I definitely wanna make this a really enjoyable and convenient way for you guys to sit back, build your skills on card counting and beat the house. Please like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it.